computer, that's even better. Uh, and what I what I'd like to do is, uh, you know, as I as I would say, the um, uh, there is no right or wrong way to. Um, okay, can you can you all see that? I'm assuming you can all see that. Okay, yes, I see some thumbs. You know, the um, obviously one of the things is. Um, in this time of coronavirus, concern over the health of the participants, and we, probably every family has that, um, we have to adapt. In short, we've been afflicted by another plague, and what we have to do is uh, deal with it. There is no right or wrong way to do a virtual Seder. And I'm going to guess that I would get, um, I, I might get argument from some uh, Orthodox or Haredi people. Um, but since we've never had the ability and need to do such, uh, most Jewish ritual and observance, which is, has developed over hundreds of years, and I don't believe that three to four weeks are considered significant time periods of time. And what's most important about virtual Seder, and understand that we're going to be doing two. Uh, my, we have my wife's family over the first night. Uh, usually it's been from 25 to 45 people. And then the second night is my uh, brothers, um, my brother and my family, uh, which is 20 to 25. Uh, but it's your family and their ideas which are important. Thus, I'm, I'd love to hear your ideas, which are welcome, encouraged, and appreciated. Um, the, uh, I saw this uh, just today. Uh, a rabbi, Avi Killup, at ejewishphilanthropy.com said, make the Seder your own this year. And I will, since I will be willing to share this PowerPoint presentation with anyone, um, you know, he talks about, gee, if it hasn't been as long as you like it, well, you've got a much smaller group. If, if the, as I would say, gee, if the people at the Seder know the story, you want to do it in a, a more creative uh, way you do it, you know the uh, and so I'm a great believer that um, uh, be creative this year. Um, less than a week ago, an article held that a group of Israeli rabbis had ruled that a virtual seder with Zoom was halachically acceptable. And interesting enough, I got up. It was about four o'clock in the morning. I saw the article. I sent a a, a note to myself, a copy of the thing. By the time I got up that morning, the, uh, the, the, the article changed a little, the uh, URL hadn't, but Haredi authorities had condemned the decision. And there is, if you want to read that, you will see that there is a, a, a link to that. Um, so at least for a few minutes, the uh, uh, Israeli, uh, group of Israeli rabbis said, gee, this was acceptable. The, um, this presentation assumes the following. The family and guests have some technical skills. They have a computer, tablet, can download, install an application, and then launch it from the link provided with your email to them. My wife and I tried this. I should have changed this. They really don't have to download anything. You might have to download the, uh, or at least log on to the, uh, uh, the site. Uh, they don't expect you to provide all the food, special or otherwise, which is part of the Seder experience, um, and they'll need to do some preparation. The, uh, my notice to the family members talked about a, I'll say, a creative Seder plate, uh, and some of the more potentially substituting those who might be less inclined to do a lot of work for some of the special foods. Depending on the length of the Seder you want, you'll need a Zoom account. The free account allows for 40 minutes, and supposedly that's 40 minutes from the time the first person logs on. The, um, I do know that we've got a past international president who has been using the free account for, for um, uh, meetings with his family, and it's allowed him to, to um, go longer than the 40 minutes. The monthly at fourteen ninety nine a month allows for a seder to last as long into the night as you wish. I just purchased for the month 
uh, for the next month, figuring that I don't know how long it is and not wanting to be faced with the 40 minute uh, constraint, I was able to buy when, when my web browser with a, a little application that's, uh, that was downloaded, it, it charged me $10.49 for the first month, and obviously I will, I will cancel the subscription before the end of the first month. I did, one of the people that was on the last presentation, what they suggested is they would do more than one session. And, um, uh, and what they would literally do is uh, break the Seder at convenient times so that the first 40 minutes could be the introduction up to washing the hands. And I realized the first washing the hands is without a, uh, a, a blessing, but it's an appropriate thing to do, not only for health, but obviously for the, the ritual. And then the second 40 might be the telling the story and break at the washing of the hand where there is the blessing. So literally you could have, we'll say, three portions uh, for, that, um, for that free account. Um, I know Zoom is the platform that this is being recorded. Uh, and um, uh, the great thing about we we tried to do it uh, with uh, FaceTime and Skype. And part of the problem was the bandwidth, uh, what they allow and whether the picture or just a, a, um, an icon of the initials of the person. So Zoom happens to be particularly great. The, uh, uh, as I say, even if you're limited to 40 minutes, you can set up multiple, you know, 40 minute sessions, somewhat awkward, but doable. The, uh, uh, and as I, I mentioned before, one of our international presidents uh, said that um, he had he was able to do more than forty minutes with multiple parties. The uh, but I say for for ten to fifteen dollars, the uh, just in the money that you will save uh, from the food and wine that you're not going to be buying. Not that you don't wish you could you could be buying that. Um, the uh, uh, I think it's a bargain. Uh, obviously, the structure of the service, the, the primary thing, we've got the Haggadah, um, uh, which whatever one you use, um, the, uh, since everyone isn't coming to your house, the likelihood is the difficulty of having one Haggadah. And uh, I have frequently found that uh, it is interesting um, that uh, particularly when you're together alone or in a group, the G, if, depending on the, the, the Hebrew literacy and reading competency, you know, if everybody doesn't have the same language, sometimes it, it gets difficult. The uh, one person that was on last uh, session talked about literally how his rabbi suggested that everybody have a unique Haggadah. Uh, because uh, obviously the translation of each one is a little different, which will lend to discussion, and frequently the pictures, the graphics that will be contained in them. I know that Arthur Sizik, uh, S-Y-Z-K, I think it is, uh, who was an artist from the uh, 40s, 50s, and 60s, his Akata, which is someplace in this house, uh, instead of um, uh, the Egyptians, the, uh, the Egyptians are represented by Nazis, uh, Germans. Um, uh, you know, obviously I said, everyone uses a different Haggadah, whatever they have at home. Uh, Maxwell House Haggadah, you know, if they really want to go out to the store to pick one up, a 60 minute Seder, that's what we have been using. And our 60 minute Seder is never 60 minutes because we add lots of material. Um, We've used it for more than five years with lots of additional material or create your own. The um, creating your own, that doesn't stop you from sending a reading to a guest. You can scan it. It might be a PDF and describe with specific details what you want them to do. The, um, since this virtual seminar, virtual Seder is new to everyone at the Seder, you're likely to get a lot of slack into leading such experience. And if your Seder adds a bunch of levity to the situation, it will be most appreciated. Um, uh, 
obviously, I'm going to guess all of us have been in the house for far too long. The, uh, we've been in for two weeks since basically we got back from New York, to, a trip to the, the thing. There are a number of places where you can download free, not copyrighted, protected for home use, a number of uh, uh, Haggadahs. And, you know, once again, if you ask me for these to the extent that you wanted to do that, uh, these are links to, to the uh, thing. Um, I want to thank Greg Gore, who was the, who, um, who kept bombarding with me with additional source of information, which required me to modify this presentation. The, um, while we hope that all our family will be fully invested, some may not be as involved. Uh, so how we, do we get them to keep their attention? The International Kiddish Club, uh, if I'm going to guess that most of you are aware of what the Kiddish Club is, it was started to provide a, uh, uh, funds for the the rabbis to fill in fund to be able to provide religious objects to communities around the world that couldn't afford it. Uh, and they've created, i.e. Uh, Stan Greenspan, uh, one of their uh, creators, created a, a Passover bingo that was uh, updated for uh, this year's uh, Seder. And if there are 13 cards, so each family can have a unique card, and as they pay attention to the service, maybe they'll also become winners of the holiday. The, uh, you know, the, every, since every family's tradition is different and the, the focus of family members, obviously on my wife's side of the family, the most significant four questions are, when do we eat, when do we eat, when do we eat? The, um, <clears throat> The other thing is to suggest creative ways that they can make haroset beyond the traditional Ashkenazi variety of chopped apple, cinnamon, wine, and walnuts. I was actually speaking to a, uh, someone who had been to my Seder two years ago and uh, not very religious, although he is Jewish, and he talked about how he had bought the ingredients for haroset. I traditionally will have five different haroset, none of which is the traditional Ashkenazi. The, uh, and so you're welcome this Thursday to tune in, and the link is on the FGMC website. <coughs> and when I started doing this, it took about three years for people to really get into the swing uh, and really find it interesting. Um, uh, the Seder plate, you know, the uh, there are different ways to, um, uh, it's like grain, bitter herb, Sprinkle, one of the things you could do is sprinkle some hot sauce into the piece of celery or other vegetable because it's really just to, to remind us of the bitterness. Uh, the, or Tabasco sauce, and I'm going to guess the Tabasco sauce. I do not, I cannot verify that the, the, uh, the vinegar that is used in Tabasco sauce is uh, kosher certified. The, uh, but if you've got nothing better, uh, you know, the uh, RA said that hot peppers, fresh ginger, mustard greens, or raw, or raw lemon, you know, in Israel, romaine lettuce is used. The, uh, depending on the creativity of your guests, that might be an area where you can ask them what they are using to, on their Seder plate. And, and one of the things that I will, um, will provide uh, to anyone that asks for the, the packet a number of years ago, Joan Nathan in her uh, cookbook, Jewish Food in America, I'm the primary cook in the family, uh, has two stories about uh, soldiers in the Civil War and wishing to uh, celebrate Passover. And literally, I've copied both of them uh, and have frequently used, you know, told the story, you know, dealing with celebrating Passover during difficult times in our history. Uh, and so, and they, they're wonderful. They're wonderful. Um, suggestion for singing uh, during the virtual Seder. Obviously, depending on the, how, how, how focused on the religious significance of the holiday um, is, you know, one person suggested, you know, Chad Gadya to voice out the different verses by different participants. And there are literally many humorous versions humorous versions of popular songs 
that can be found on the internet. As you can see, I've listed probably seven sites. And uh, if I remember correctly, the, you know, some of these are multi, multi-page uh, uh, material. You know, the, um, and I know that that has been something that um, uh, we've used in the, the, the Seders in years past. Uh, uh, you know, and there are also, you know, the uh, four, for less not humorous, but particularly meaningful, the Maccabees have done a number of Passover melodies and this, service, this search finds them. So if you're, you know, and we have done, we've done, played one of the, the Maccabees, you know, on one of the, the uh, a laptop or a um, tablet, you know, during, uh, during the Seder. Uh, to the extent possible, if you feel comfortable, send recipes for your family signature dishes for Pesach. You know, the, um, that, will, that will assume that the people that you've invited will want to spend, you know, the time to get the ingredients and have, and cook. You know, once again, you're dealing with, you're dealing with many different people whose uh, commitment may be different. Probably the most important thing that I would recommend to any Seder, uh, virtual Seder, is encourage participation. Uh, the, uh, and what I'm going to, let's see, uh, participants, we've got, so I'm going to, I'm going to unmute all. So if you, the, uh, and hopefully it won't get too loud. The, um, uh, and if it does, I'll, you know, finding the Afikomen. The, I was afraid of Part of the problem is the background noise. I'm going to mute. The, uh, part, of, part of the problem is that, you know, by unmuting people, you, the, um, no, I don't want that. I want this. The, um, wait a second. Oops, let me, I, I goofed. Okay, let me um, encourage participation. Um, the, um, the more participation, the better, so that they will feel a part of that. Um, you know, and we, the, one of the things that you can do is add the 11th plague of today, you know, coronavirus, you know, uh, other questions that, you know, we have frequently done satyrs to try to get the people involved, you know, uh, tell, ask them about their favorite Passover memory, favorite Passover food, most memorable Passover Seder, um, uh, the favorite part of the Seder, one year when we had we had some of the older folks who unfortunately have passed on. Uh, since most of those people came from Europe to America, we asked them about their, their uh, journey to America to be able to relate it to the younger uh, family members. And that was, uh, uh, that was particularly meaningful. Uh, and we, we recorded some of those. Part of the problem with using Zoom or any, any uh, technology is bandwidth. Uh, a virtual Seder is a wonderful opportunity to share, but not everybody's bandwidth or not everybody's um, wireless connectivity is as good. So therefore, uh, frequently it causes such thing as delays, hesitation, drop off of audio or video, um, uh, which is similar to the problems that our ancestors have while leaving from their departure from Egypt until we got to the promised land. The uh, and so group activities by Zoom are not encouraged. Obviously, the problem is group activities from people singing, you're going to have uh, some of the voices cutting out or or not in sync with everybody else. Um, uh, somebody suggested if they're going to use a cell phone, which Zoom allows, suggest that they turn it so it's landscape mode so more visual can be seen and if people use a laptop turn it so that displays not towards you but to more of the people who will be participating unless everybody has a tablet or or laptop to use during the virtual Seder the uh, finding the Afikomen there were a number of creative things particularly if you've got young people uh, one is a um, 
a, uh, an internet word search, or where's a Waldo picture style Wikipedia hunt. Uh, the uh, one suggested during the first presentation was creating a folder on Google Drive. I don't know if you've used Google Drive. There are literally hundreds of photos that you can put in, uh, or at least dozens, and have only one of them, which is a pizza matza, and have the younger member of the participants try to find the afikoma uh, within that folder. Uh, and as I said, there are literally hundreds of both Passover-related and Jewish-related interest photos. Copyright protection is only relevant if you're using a photo in a public setting. The, uh, there, there, are, there are two word searches. Once again, I'm, one that was sent to me and another that I created, which is another way that uh, buried within them is the word afikomen. And obviously, this is something that can be distributed to the members of the who are participating, and uh, see if they can find the words. The um, and both of them are interesting ways to create to create um, uh, involvement. Ron Wolfson uh, suggestions for a virtual seder, and basically, he may have touched on many of the things that I've talked. Prepare, give homework tell the story, ask questions, innovate, have fun, afikomen gifts, understand if you're not familiar with it, Venmo allows you to send money to most uh, young people and it's the way that my, my grown children will pay their, for their uh, cell phone bills to my wife. Be inclusive, make changes, it's your story, and wash your hands. Uh, and Juan Wolfson, those of us, uh, uh, Norman and Michael Freilich and others who have been involved in the FJMC have been aware that Ron Wolfson has been a, a good friend, a longtime friend to the FJMC. If you're interested in receiving any of the materials, including this packet of materials, send me an email. Just subject virtual Seder, and I'll send you everything I have, including a copy of this presentation. Now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute, unmute all of you, and uh, hey, come on, participants, manage participants. Where is it? Wipe. Um, no, I don't want poll. Uh, I don't want that. I want okay, manage participants. Let me unmute you. Um, unmute all, and if anybody has questions, I'd be oh, up to it. go ahead. Um, hey, this is Don Miller from Connecticut Valley Region. Yes, Don. Have you used um, waiting room with Zoom? No. Explain. Tell us about it. No, I, I'm trying to get information about it. Okay. The, uh, I mean, many of us are using Zoom in this way for a uh, the first time. You know the um, and like like everything else, uh, it's an uh, an initial um, an initial attempt because uh, gee, we really had no use for it prior to to the current time. Right. Okay. Thanks. You're quite welcome. Does anybody else have any questions, suggestions? Uh, this is Stephen Mandel. I have two questions. Did you give directions on how to share the screen up? So you put the, uh, oh, how to put the screen, the left, and then uh, the people on the right. Oh, it, uh, how to put the, the screen on mute? No, how to put the screen on the left. Right. The screen on the left. It's a hagoda, and the people, as we're seeing here, on the right hand side. The uh, and I believe that you know you can you can move these people around the picture of the the people around once they're you know once they're. Uh, uh, shown the the four um, uh, there the four little picture box, you know the uh, so that's you know relatively easy to do. Like anything that uh, when you're using a tool, I would suggest you um, uh, you you play around if you want to see whether you know the um, I know my wife is on a uh, a Zoom call that she set up. And literally, she sent it to her friends, and she's learning as we're on the phone, you know, on the Zoom call now, but learning how to do things. And I'm guessing that she will come down and she will say, how do you do this? How you, will you do this? 
And so, gee, if anything, you know, send send a meeting request, set up a set up a, a meeting, and send it to someone, you know, a friend or you know, your wife, you know, and say, gee, I want you on so that we can figure out what we're doing. You know, want so the telephone I, number that we can call you tomorrow. Sure, I will on the. Uh, when I send you the, the the packet of material, if you ask for it, is my cell number. Okay, how, do we ask, how do we send it to you? The, uh, all you have to do is the, um, uh, let's see, the, the uh, where is it? Let's see, I'll get to the last slide. My, the, uh, send an email to akhan at fjmc.org. And I, I promise you, I will, I will send it to you quickly. Uh, and, and my email has my phone address, my phone number. You know, the, um, listen, this is, this is new for all of us. You know, the, um, you know, other than when they said, gee, will you do a, a webinar? I said, gee, Oh, I'm going to have to do two two virtual two seders. Okay, so I, I better learn about it so that I might be able to share my knowledge. I don't think any you know, you know and um, I'm sure you know, the question is you know the, uh, depending on the primary thing that how much tolerance does the family have uh, for time when they're not all together. And that you would know that I couldn't tell you that. Wait, you know your family better. Say, I, I would. Say why he never wanted to see me. The um, any other something. questions? Yes, yeah. I have a question. Shoot. You mentioned about my, playing uh, humorous <laughs> videos and so forth. I, right. Is, is it just as simple as what you're doing here? Yeah. You just press right. play. Right. right. You play. play you you share your screen. Be patient. You will. You know, no, what do you all go through? Fun. The uh, if you search Passover, if you're not willing I, to try, there are, just go ahead. Go right. You, 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 if you search, um, yeah, I, I, a number, I search I, Passover I, I, parodies on if YouTube. If you listen, you pay attention to you. That's literally right. hundreds. <laughs> you know, the um. There, if you're there not will willing be to try, then just go ahead and go away. You can right, have a Seder you. just based upon the humorous parodies that YouTube has created. So, okay. You know, li literally, I'm a big Stephen Sondheim fanatic. And, you know, the uh, not only have have some of, some of the song parodies, you know, the, the, the words have been changed to, to his music. But, you know, if one were to search Stephen Sondheim, on YouTube, you know, I could spend from well, now until after Pesach was over without sleeping. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have watched all the Sondheim related stuff. And I'm sure that's the same thing with Passover. The, um, so type, you know, type a search term and you'd be amazed what you will find. And then you say, gee, you know, that would really work well with, with my family. And I don't know your family. You know your family. So that's why it's wonderful. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? As I said, if you send me a, a, an email, you know, the, I'll be glad to send you what material that I've accumulated. You know, the, uh, if you you'll have my phone number, if you want to ask more questions, I'd be glad to, to answer those. You know, if not, the... Uh, you know, I thank you. I thank you for uh, participating uh, and uh, wish you a, a wonderful Pesach. And hopefully, if you, you do a virtual Seder, it is a, a memorable and uh, meaningful experience for you and uh, uh, your participants. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a good Pesach. You too. Bye bye. Thank you. Happy Pesach, everybody. Happy Pesach. Thank uh -huh.